What's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Patty Parade. And uh, we're here today to talk about Dragon Raja and try to do a quick little introduction guide, what to expect for the first couple of hours. Launch is right around the corner. Um, got some club recruitment stuff to touch on in a second, so uh, definitely hang out for that. We got some keys. Um, but essentially what we kind of want to cover in this video is uh, what to expect in the first couple hours of the game. Try to help you guys out and uh, quickly identify some of the UI stuff that's going to be kind of important. Um, and just touch on a few things uh, that I feel like will help people out in the beginning of the game. And add some familiarity um, for you going in so that it, it doesn't feel as clunky. Because I was a little confused. So I'm trying to help my people out. Um, real quick to touch on the guild stuff, um, our clan, Epic Gaming, or sorry, Club, Epic Gaming uh, is recruiting. I've known these guys uh, for a couple of years now. I actually used to compete against them in another gotcha game uh, years ago. Um, and we had an officer chat with all the leaders of the top guilds. Um, and they were great people. Um, ended up following them to another game, playing with them for a while. I cannot recommend them um, enough. They are an amazing group of people. And uh, we did pretty good on the beta. Um, we were one of the top uh, clubs on there. We're actually going to be t shooting for uh, one of the top three prizes. Um, but regardless, we're already a qualified club, which means we're going to have 500 keys um, to give out to members after the w a week after the beta launches. Um, and that's going to give you 200k gold. Okay. Um, and a plan. Uh, we believe that that is going to have to do with the vehicles and everything. Most of the stuff in the beta that referred to plans had to do with the motors and all your fun stuff there. Uh, so we're pretty sure what that is, but can't guarantee that 100%. So just let you know. But definitely give us a look up. Uh, Epic Gaming. Uh, I'll go ahead and throw a link to our Discord in the description. So check that out. Um, and we'll get with you. And I can't wait to be playing with you guys. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, jump into the fun here. Um, so the first thing I want to touch on is character care, uh, creation. I missed a couple of things my first go through um, because I figured all means, oh, that's just changing everything about the character. Let me just go into the individual ones. Um, so I went into body, face, and makeup. And I was like, oh, they don't have hair? Uh, no, they have hair. They have hair. Um, cosmetic and all is uh, hairstyle, hair color, all that fun little stuff. And then face and body are essentially all your physical traits. So you can kind of see over here on the side uh, where it says like all shoulder, arms, chest, weights. It lets you, you know, sculpt and mold your character how you like. Um, this kind of floors me in a phone game. Um, that is, they really want you to be able to make your person. Um, if you caught any of my earlier videos, you know I went with Ghost Boy because I'm not good at sculpting faces. Uh, shout outs to all of you that are able to make beautiful characters, but I make things that look like they should be taken out back and shot. Um, maybe we'll get, uh, give it another chance. Uh, the beta was limited time, so I didn't want to spend, you know, an hour, um, making a character. <clears throat> I had some content to make. We had to level up everything. Shout out to Soul Dancer. We got you to level 20, but we never made your show, soul, uh, showcase. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> so definitely take your time going through this. Um, you're going to be seeing your character a lot. So this is fairly important. Put a little put a little time in it, make you somebody pretty. All right, so that pretty much covers that. Another quick thing, um, right up in the top corner here, you're gonna have whatever your current quest is. And you can hit that and it'll just automatically run you to and then do whatever you need to do there. Um, so you can be very hands off uh, for the first hour or two of the game using this. Um, but also, if you're like me and you enjoy manualing and, you know, playing a little bit, um, there's certain quests where you need to stand in a spot and it doesn't, like, mark that on the ground and tell you, this is where you need to be. Um, so if you're running to do a quest and you see the person you know you need to talk to and there's no icon above their head, go ahead and just tap, tap that little top corner and let it just do it nice and clean for you. Uh, and then also down below, we've got new gear and items. Every time you get something, whether it be um, like a consumable or something for your character, it's going to pop up in the bottom corner. Um, it'll usually be a chest first, and then once you open that, it'll roll through a couple of items. Anything that you get out of that chest that you can use, 
um, or open and get like a currency, it'll go ahead and be like, hey, we're gonna go ahead and do this, right? You can just hit through all that or ignore it and after five seconds, it'll auto accept um, each item, so. You do you, boo, however you wanna do it. <clears throat> So another thing that I want to touch on is kind of an introduction guide to this. Don't skip the story. Um, I intentionally left as much of the story out as I could when making my earlier videos, and I'm going to continue to do that for a while. I want everybody to experience the story at their own pace and not ruin anything because there are so many moments that I want to talk about with you guys. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like six off the top of my head. Luminous, I have so many questions, my boy. Um, but it is an amazing story. Amazing story. Um, I was really not expecting it. I was expecting to kind of just blow through that and then probably really enjoy the combat. Um, but the story is, is is great. I am I am actually interested and captivated in what's going on. They really caught me off guard with how good the story is. Um, so definitely don't skip through all that, um, at least not on your first character. On your first character, take your time, savor it a little bit. Um, and there's going to be a lot of story. They use the story to introduce a lot of the systems in the game, uh, as well as like basic combat and other stuff like that. So your first couple of hours are going to be kind of just story and running around and setting stuff up and everything. It picks, starts picking up a lot once you get um, to the second area, we'll say. I'm not not trying to talk about anything. Um, but it, it is just, I, I really have to give it to them on this one. The, the story is great. I'm interested in this universe. I like the way that it works. I wasn't familiar with any of the Dragon Raja stuff before. Um, so the way that they're using dragons and people becoming partial dragons with their blood, like it's, I, it's interesting. It's interesting. I do enjoy it. So I highly, highly recommend you do not skip the story. All right. Appreciate your face. Um, another quick thing, um, so there will be certain points uh, where it will ask for your input on how you want to respond. Uh, sometimes it's just in spoken conversation, sometimes it's in text messages, yeah you got text people. Um, it How you respond affects your personality stats and then I believe those are going to influence your career. Um, I don't think your personality stats are going to affect um, like your damage output or anything like that so I don't think you have to worry about min maxing your conversations um, could be wrong could be wrong but I'm pretty sure you don't have to min max the conversations <laughs> um, so just you know reply to them as you know honestly or however you want your character to be um, so just just a little tip and a little fair, uh, fair warning because first time I was just like oh I get to just pick something and I was like oh, okay 20 added to this stat what oh oh okay so just to, just to catch you all up on that one. And then real quick, I kind of just want to go over some of the really important stuff in the UI. Um, so we've already touched on your quest. Sorry, not, my hand doesn't go far enough. I'm sorry, guys. We've already touched on the quest and everything being in the top corner. Once you have more than just the main story quest, you're going to have um, like side quest. Um, M is your main mission, I want to say. Um, so you, you'll have a bunch of side ones. You just click on one. You'll automatically start going towards it. So just kind of breeze past that. Your events tab will have a multitude of things in it. It'll have things that you do with your club. It'll have things you solo queue for. It'll have things that you uh, queue up for and then do like, you know, little dungeons. It also has things like quizzes. Um, and other little little side questy kind of things. There, there's a fair amount of stuff in there, and it all rotates to a certain degree. Um, so there's a lot to look at in there. I wouldn't worry about that too, too much um, until you're really starting uh, to get into the story and everything. So I'd wait a little while, maybe levels 30 to 40, um, which sounds like a lot. Sounds like a lot. You'll get there pretty fast. Um, so I, I would wait a little while before jumping into all that stuff. Uh, two is your inventory. Um, there's a couple of things that if you take in from like the mail system, um, you'll have to go into here and then open. So like if they have any like downtime and maintenance and they gift out cr uh, crystals for it or gems, um, it'll give you an item that then goes to your inventory and you need to go in your inventory, click on the item and hit use and then you'll get that currency. Um, <clears throat> you don't really have to worry about going in there to equip new gear. Uh, like I said earlier, new gear is pretty much automatically equipped for you. Um, 
the ally system uh, in one of my videos I want to say it was um, the assassin video or the gunslinger video um, where we touch on the ally system a little bit um, for those of you that are familiar with gotcha games it's kind of like a little gotcha game system um, you, you basically summon uh, people that then go on bounties for you um, and then they do have a can randomly pop out in PvE content in the world and help you out um, but I'm not I don't fully understand everything with that system so everything you see on the screen today we hope to do a further guide for um, it's very hard to give just a surface level description of some of this stuff uh, because the systems go pretty deep like the core we're definitely gonna have a lot of videos about the core y'all um, that's where all of your gems are um, a lot of developers on the discord early on we're talking about you know to really increase your power one of the things you want to remember your to focus on is your uh, gems I think uh, one of the first uh, like uh, platforms for it is like getting all of your level three uh, gems to level three um, on your the one for your class so each of the classes have a different affinity that they're strongest with so definitely double check that um, but we'll 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 get into the core where we'll get there we'll get there there's just a lot there um, so I apologize that we're not able to go into everything and kind of break it all down for you this would be a 50 minute video and I want this a little bit more digestible you feel me um, so number four is the skills uh, you have to go in and upgrade your skills every time you get a level um, it'll definitely let you know if you see the little red marks over here um, over top mail and bonus uh, the, it pops up whenever there's something for you to do in one of these menu um, menus so the game tries its best to guide you uh, to what you need to be doing because you'll be a little lost uh, at the beginning just because there's there's a lot um, so club is obviously where all the club information is where you apply for a club then once you're in a club um, you make donate you can make donations in there I'm pretty sure the uh, shop is in there it might be in the mall I'd have to double check to be a hundred percent on there but that's basically where all the, like the guild or club functions are um, seven is gear and this is interesting um, because you would think oh that's just you know brings up your character and where all of your gear is equipped no 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 that's when you hit the inventory button you see all that gear is uh, like almost like upgrading certain pieces of gear you can get items um, that you can then equip to pieces of gear and those items will give you bonuses so I only got to test this out very limitedly in the beta um, but yeah that's that's gonna be an important place for us all to go once we have all of those items um, We'll, uh, we'll we'll try to get some uh, guides out as quickly as possible once the game get uh, comes out. We're only a couple of days away, so I wanted to go ahead and uh, get this out just to try and help everybody get prepared. We've got two days. I uh, appreciate y'all stopping by. If you're still hanging strong with me, I'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button. Probably should have put that at the beginning of the video to trick some poor souls down there. But hey, if you made it this far, maybe you like my face. I appreciate yours. All right, y'all. It's been your boy, Petty. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. And uh, remember, check out Epic Gaming. We're going to have the link in the uh, description down below. And I uh, hope to see you guys online. All right, y'all. Deuces.